Hey guys, it's Boy Collette. Basically, I'm gonna show you how to make a YouTube background like this when it finally loads. Like this, right here. See, it has a little thing the thing going down the middle of it. Turn around, do the same thing. So you don't know. I'm gonna put a photo top. I'm gonna close that. Now you need to download a template. The template will be in the description for non partners and partners. Click the YouTube background thing. Go to the layer three, click on it. Go to stroke. Make it not white or whatever color you want to. Go to color overlay. No, I'll go to gradient overlay because I can do that. <laughs> not just one job. But I really can do that. Cause I can. You wanna know why? Cause I can. Take off the color overlay. Now I want the white to be over there and the blue to be over there. That. So that's simple right there. Now you could just use this, change the color background, and do that, or whatever. But me, so look, you could just do a stroke. No, don't do the stroke. Cause it's not gonna show anyways. So you could just put a, a um in a color like look for example now I'm not gonna use this because I'm gonna add something else make it the same blue that you used earlier or whatever color you used earlier basically it matches your background but I don't really like that that just that just looks a little bit too you know too tacky so go to I go to Bevel and Boss. That's how I had that little pop out thing. Down. Go up. Make it soft, smooth. Pillow and Boss. Outer. No. Inner. I like that. See, there goes a preview. No, I'm just saying. There goes a preview right there. I'll click that. Now me, I'm going to add, I'm going to make a new layer, new document, as you would call it. It's a rainy day in New York today. And I was going to actually go outside. Now make another gradient using the same colors. Hold shift. Well, if you want to, you can use different colors or whatever you want to. Shift, drag it down the middle like that. Yeah, like that. Then you want to go to filter, distort, and go to wave. Now click wave. Go to filter. Go to distort, and go to polar coordinates. Do that. Actually, I don't like how the white thing shows, so I'm gonna make it blue showing on the outside and white showing on the inside. So I'll be that. Hey guys, it's your boy here. I'm back, and this is the final product right here. Now, what you basically want to do is go to the mover pointer. Make sure you clicked on the background. Oh, for this one, go to background. Just make sure nothing bad happened, and drag it. And basically, you want to make it bigger, and I totally forgot how to do that, so I'll be right back. So hey guys, it's your boy Color Hunt back, and it's actually Control T to make it bigger. Now move it right here to begin the document and make it right, right there. And I'll be back because there's something else you have to do. I just can't put my finger on it. Hey, but by the way, if you want to keep it like this, just save it as a PNG. Go on to you, um, YouTube. Put it as your background. Do whatever you want to. As I stated from earlier. But now you may have to resize this a little bit. Make it like 2,000 by 5,000. No, I'm just playing. I'll go find out the actual. Um. Alright, so here guys. Here goes the pixels right here. The width. The height. So basically, go to Photoshop. Go to apply the transformation go to image image size 
1,610 portions. And it's 360, I believe. Yeah, 360. Do that. And it basically makes it a little bit longer. And it still looks good stuff. So I have to add I have to add another layer to gradient because it just looks pale right now. So I'll be back. All right. So what you want to do is click on that starburst thing and go to I believe it's you want to go to the layer style and click. No, not overlay. Normal. Let's make it normal. I forgot we already did the thing. So, yeah. Save it as. Yeah, ma? Alright. And click save. So, it's gonna save. Make it interlace. And that was a quick tutorial by your boy Khalil. Bye.